Hey guys, this is Karan from Check Amigo, and today I'm gonna to show you how to install the Lever OS Vita version for the Eureka and Eureka Plus both. So the first thing that you need is the Lever OS .zip file. I have left a download link in the description box below. So just download it from the download link and place it in your internal or external SD card, wherever you want. So before doing this, make sure that your device has an unlocked bootloader rooted and has a custom recovery. So after you have done this three things, just follow the steps in the video below. So just go into the about phone and in that just click several times the build number and just unlock your developer mode. Once you have unlocked the developer mode, just make sure that the advanced reboot option is clicked. So after that long press your power button, under that reboot and just click into the recovery. So it depends that what recovery that you have installed. I have installed TWRP recovery, uh, CWM recovery is also good. So now just it the device will boot into the recovery mode. So once you enter into the recovery mode, the first step that you need to do is to wipe your cache. So just select wipe and in that advanced. So just select the Delvi cache system and the normal cache and data. You also need to wipe the entire data because you need to install a complete new OS. So just select the following things and just swipe to clear all these things. So once you're done with wiping all the cache and all, just install the downloaded zip file. Now click back. Now I will locate my downloaded zip file. So in install in Leva OS and there it is the Leva OS beta version. Just select that zip file and swipe to install. Now the Leva OS has been installed in your device. This Leva is for both the Eureka and Eureka Plus both. I have left the download link in the description below. So after the zip file has been installed, there is a next important step that you need to must. It, it must be done because if you don't do that, your device might get stuck into the boot loop. So that is clearing your cache and Delvi cache both. Just select that option and wipe it. So after you are done wiping just uh, reboot your device. Now click back and reboot your device. So the initial reboot will take some time so if uh, the device is taking too long to reboot just don't worry it's normal. So the initial after the initial boots gets started I will just uh, get back to that. I will skip this part and we will just uh, get back to the uh, optimization step of the app. So here it is the optimization of the app. The optimization of the app depends upon the number of the apps that you are installing. So since it is the initial boot, it will take around 5 to 10 minutes for the complete optimization of the app. So I've just skipped that part and just ran into the initial setup. So here it is the setup page of the Leva OS. So I'll just run through this uh, complete setup. Since I'm not at my home, I don't require this Wi-Fi. I will skip this part. Now next next so here it is now the lever os has been completely installed in your device if you ask me my initial impression for this uh, os is this os is quite good the os felt very smooth and responsive uh, being a beta version it was completely good os i had a great experience with this os you can see all the it is kind of mi ui and iphone like uh, ui it has got a ui of iphone like stuff so the f the people who don't like app drawers or are just used to mi ui will find this os completely great so i'll just uh, show you all the information about this os in about phone so here you can see that it is leva os beta version 6 point something and here you can see the specification 1.5 gigahertz internal regard and all so I'll just give a short tour about this OS how this OS works and it feels 
so this is the settings you can see has it it looks good the OS feels good and it performs very well so you can see the notification panel it it kind of got a transparent notification panel the wallpaper can be seen like a transparent thing and if you swipe from bottom to top you will run through the toggles of the uh, notification you can also adjust the toggles you can add toggles you can remove toggles by clicking on more option and it also has the double to wake up and all features so you can see that the uh, OS is working quite fine and the lock screen is also quite good you can see several options and it goes it and it has its own level of customization so here it is the camera app the camera app is quite which comes in the Nexus or the Android one devices you can say Android one devices and all it's quite a simple camera it's not that great which comes with the Cyanogen mod and all uh, here is the file manager the file manager is a good part you can see the detailed specification of all your stuffs and uh, here is the theme app now I will give you a detailed tour of all the things the lock screen the first I have showed you and the windows option and all here is the system tool apps the notification panel at some times the touch was not working but still it's a beta version so you can handle with these stuffs here is the gallery you can see the gallery is also quite good you can see the pictures and all the qualities can be clearly it's quite responsive the uh, gallery is able to load the images quite well and here is the music player the music player is quite good you can see when you whenever you change the music the background of the music also changes and the sound quality in this OS is also quite good uh, here is the video player and the file explorer it's kind of an ES Explorer uh, type file explorer so one thing about you notice this OS is whenever you uh, select any app or open it the notification panel just uh, gets into that color it just uh, smudges into that color along with that uh, application that's a good thing you see it gives an attractive look for this OS uh, here is a video playback sample I will just show you how the video plays in this operating system it's quite good and the inbuilt video player is also good you see it plays a heavy loaded uh, video file this is a high resolution high uh, loaded video file so the next step here I'm going to show you how to install the gaps if you want to install you can also install the G apps because this since it is a beta version uh, many ROMs doesn't come with the G apps application and many people require that G apps so uh, in the next step I will tell you how to install the G apps required for this uh, operating system I have left the download link in the description box below just download the G apps whatever G apps you want I have two G apps file because since one of the GF file was not working for me and I had a uh, initial GF file which I have already downloaded for some other ROM and that worked for me so whichever you prefer just download one of the uh, GFs and install the GF as the instruction I will give in this video below so just first wipe the uh, Delvic and normal cache So after you have done that, just locate your GApp file back and install. Now here it is, now GApp file. I have uh, two GApp files. The one that I am going to install is the Slim GApps because this one is working for me. The one that I have downloaded from GApps or open source is not working for me. So you can download either of one if uh, the open source one is working for you. Just you can download that one and just install the uh, open source one. I have uh, been pro facing problem with that one, so I have installing the slim gaps option. So if you want to also get the add-ons such as the messengers, YouTube, Chrome, etc. So you need to find that all these add-ons. So uh, to make it easier, I have left a download link in the description below. You can download the all add-ons which you want and just install it uh, separately. That uh, new stand, whatever the G apps that you require, I have left the link in the description box below. So don't worry if you want the other G apps such as new station, new stand, uh, play music, Google Chrome, YouTube, etc. I have left the link in the description box below. 
so after we have done that just reboot your device so just like the initial boot it will take some time as the optimization and of app and all so i'll just show you the g apps that i have installed will be shown here this is the basic g apps slim gaps which gives you the google search and the play service just update that after when you get connected to the wi-fi or some whatever the net source you have so also one thing the recommended kernel for this operating system is officially recommended as lightning uh, kernel and Sino Pro and one more I don't remember so I have already given a video for the installation of the lightning kernel if you want to check out how to install the lightning kernel in your uh, mobile devices I have left a link in the description below just follow the steps in the link in the description below it will be quite helpful for you so the device is working quite fine and here it is the one thing I want to show you is about the recent task manager it is it is quite good it gives you option to select between lefty and righty so since I have righty I have select the right option and here it is the recent task manager so here the recent task manager is not like the in the card fashion which we see in our uh, normal devices but it's responsive and clears your memory fast so here it is the installation of the leva os for the u eureka and eureka plus devices so if this video helped just hit the like button below and if you want to get the further updates from this channel just hit the subscribe button below and also i would like to thank my friend manish who helped me in making this video so thanks for watching guys see you until next time